Hello and welcome to session 4 of the advanced data-driven implementations. Previously, we went through major code constructions and played with the basic types of input data. In this section, we'll take a look at more advanced and more tricky cases when we still operate with a data-driven approach. In particular, we'll take a look at how to operate with Excel file. We will also play with the Spring injection for our data source. In the end, we will take a look at how data-driven testing can be applied for keyword-driven frameworks and uh, Cucumber JVM in particular. So, let's start with Excel and reading data from it. The Excel is quite popular format for the test data input. A lot of vendor tools were initially targeted to support data-driven tests where Excel was the data source. So, we can do the same thing for our sample tests. In this video, we will add necessary dependencies for interacting with Excel. Then, we'll prepare test data and the code to which read it. In the end, we'll update sample test to get input from Excel. So, let's prepare sample data. I've created the Excel file where there is just one worksheet named location. It contains two columns where we put our test data. Again, we use destination location and its business flag. This file is saved as XLSX format. I've put into the test resources folder. In our example, we will read data from this file. Next step is to include additional libraries. For Excel format, we'll use a Apache POI library. Actually, we need two modules. One of them is core POI library, and another one is implementation which reads XLSX formats, which are the newest ones. This library is needed as we save our test file exactly in this format. This is how it looks like for Gradle. For Maven the construction is similar. Now let's prepare a data provider for our sample test. Let's create additional method annotated with the data provider annotation and prepare initial data object with which we should return as a result of reading operation. Then, we should create the workbook object. And we'll initialize it with XSSF workbook, indicating that it is new Excel format. Also, we should specify the path to the file to read data from. Currently, it is location of our Excel file in test resources. After workbook is created, we can read the worksheet. We are getting the one with the location's name. After that, we read rows by index. Notice that we start from 1 as the initial row contains headers. Here we get row itself. Then we get string value for destination and boolean value for its business flag. And next step is to add data row. Last step is to close the workbook after we finished reading. This way we are done with the data providers. Now let's update our test. We can copy existing test from previous videos and change the name of the method as well as data provider assigned. If we run this test, we can see it works with the parameters specified in the Excel file. This is the end of the video. We've created a data provider reading data from Excel. But it is not the most tricky way to define data sources.